Welcome to another mega exciting five minute auto pairing. Let's see what happens here. Uh, so, kicking off the ICC auto pairing Chess Pro King 2012. Let me get an aggressive position in the center. Um, maybe I will. What should I do? I'll just take on e6 here. My weakening is king a little bit. Just take on e6. Yeah, that seems logical to try and weaken my. Um, D four square. Uh -huh. If I take that, I could come back to G three. I could play like this. Maybe like this is okay. Because that knight's putting pressure on E four. So if I take that out, it should be okay. Let's see. Um, H three is that? Any good coming up? Or Queen B3? It's an interesting position in its own right. It's, it hasn't got a check yet for Queen B2. Maybe, maybe Queen B3. It looks like an annoying move for black hair. That pressure on the Queen side. Mm, I could take like this. Because if I take like this, maybe that f pawn is a bit vulnerable to bishop h6. Okay, he's offering b7. I could take it and take on a6. Might be worth doing and get past a pawn. You might, you might get a bit of play, but it's past a pawn. Um, we'll start pushing a pawn. There's queen h4. Uh, coming up. Okay. Might give them a bit too much counterplay there. That's the thing. But I've got this A pawn. If I can just use it, let me come back over here. Oh, hang on. Or rook c1, just to stop rook c8. Oh, bishop b5 will be a good one to block. Queen coming in. Yeah, the queen can come in. To b4 to d2 would be dangerous. Um, how would that be stopped? It's a radical rook f2 idea. My bishop b5 stops the queen for a moment. And then what? So I control the c8 square. Um, is rook f2 a good idea? It's got d4, dangerous d4. Maybe h3 and king h2, get the king out of here. Okay. Um, hmm, he's thinking, unless I've lost into that. <clears throat> okay, queen a7, eh? Right, if I block this for a moment. That controls the d2 square, so queen a5, queen b4. Okay, I'm on d6. I can actually take on d6, control b4 here. So is he actually going to protect d6? Yes. What about queen c7 though? I've still got my past a pawn. It's uh, dangerous now because I control that c file. Okay, if I take here, that will leave some pawns on the light squares, but I'm controlling e8 as well. So I get my king away from this. Oh, there's rook g3 immediately, just winning a piece. Look at that g file, rook g3. Wow. I didn't expect that use of the third rank. That f5, extremely dangerous, this has opened up. My rook on the seventh, as well as my rook on the third, against this king. One move, just check. That, just losing a piece. I'm gonna just crawl my king over. 
or bishop f1 and it might be d3 so I'll do this for a moment i'm Check. controlling even e8 so i can probably just do this <clears throat> Check. I'm controlling e8. <laughs> yeah, that's bad news. Okay, he's resigned there. Um, I actually got to make this quick. Got to go for dinner, but it seemed like a, an interesting game for the um, gambit. Didn't work. It seemed from the evidence of the game, the engine is suggesting. This is just the a4 here. Yeah, I did mention a4. It does actually mean bishop b5 to block the b file. So as a temporary blocker resource, that a pawn, very useful. Okay, I played that instead of rook. Apparently rook b1 for some reason. It's more technical, surely. Uh, that's probably the way to go. So this is, I thought this was comfortable. So d3 apparently to give black some play. Oh, here then check, check f2 yeah i guess that's why this and en the engine preferred rook b1 here there's no this pawn remains blocked so that diagonal is actually quite dangerous coordinating with the rook here so yeah rook b1 it's probably a, it looks like a lesser evil move now we have queen takes e5 okay as long as the queen's not coming in to coordinate with the rook but yeah, so he let me block that again. Now this was a bad mistake, allowing queen c7. So, oh, okay, apparently this is okay for me. e5, that's interesting. d6, if here, rook f1 to stop the f2. And if here, queen d5, do I end up being better here? Maybe. It doesn't look by much. So yeah, I think he missed some counterplay opportunities the queen shouldn't have come off and this looks like a total disaster move f5 <laughs> i mean i'm escaped disaster for for the rooks uh so yeah total rook g3 yeah okay comments or questions on youtube thanks very much